Hey folks, so this video is just going to show you how quickly and easily you can set up a utility VM using um, mainly VMware components. So I'll just spin up a Photon um, Linux ISO uh, configuring to run Docker and using that Docker to pull down the new PowerCLI core. Uh, this is just run on my home lab. My home lab's just on my PC running VM workstation, but as you can see, it's got quite a few cores and a fair bit of memory. So you can run this anyway, you've got yourself a vSense server and a uh, ESX host, which I've already set up here. If we look at them, host running there, vSense is running there. If we flip to the web client, you can see basically it's literally just got the vCenter, uh, a data center, a cluster, a host, and a VM. That's just so we can run some commands once we get PowerCLI working. Okay, if we shrink that down again, go to PowerCLI command prompt, sorry, PowerShell. Uh, first thing we're going to do is grab the LVA for Photon. That's going to download about 300 megs worth of uh, LVA, so the is going to pause in a sec and chop to the end. Okay, now we're getting there now, it's 290 ish meg download, uh, so it creates about 305 bytes. Right. Just one thing to note there, because I'm importing this into uh, VM Workstation version 10, it needs to be uh, hardware version 10. There's a hardware version 11 uh, OVA out there, uh, depending on what vCenter or uh, workstation you're going to import that in, you can choose that. Again, you can go to this web, you can go to the VMware webpage to download that if you want, or the GitHub webpage, but I was just uh, trying to do as much in code as possible. So if we open that now, it'll open straight into workstation okay so we should import that accept the uh, ULA okay so we've got ourselves our photon VM now Should power that on First login, the default password his name is root and change me. Okay, so password's changed. Um just need to run a couple of commands to be able to start the uh, Docker container. So the first one of those uh, just well we don't need to start it, but if we wanted to be able to use it without having to run this command each time, if we run systemctl start docker, so the docker daemon's actually started in the background now, rather than to run that command each time, we can just run enable docker. That's effectively making the docker daemon start up each time the uh, photon VM boots. Okay, as you can see there, it's edited a, a docker config file. Right, so Straight from there, we can say we want a Docker to run a container for us. We're going to pass it just two parameters, one for interactive, otherwise it'll just kick us out and try and run the uh, container in the background, and T so that it does a nice terminal formatting on the calls. So we specify the container we want it to run. And the image we specified there, it's not going to find locally, so it's going to pull it down from the uh, Docker library. There we go, you can see it downloading. It'll take again a few minutes to download each of those bits, um, and once it's done, it'll actually run PowerCLI for us. So it's completed pulls, and it runs PowerShell, which obviously imports then the uh, PowerCLI modules. So just before we try and um, connect to our vCenter, we just need to tell it one bit of uh, config which is to ignore if it gets an invalid certificate. Obviously, oh, I've just got a, uh, a temporary demo we sent to there. It's got a cell sign certificate and uh, power so I would moan about that. So just try to ignore it. Yes, we wanted to do all commands. Right, it's ignored all of them. Um, and then the next bit is standard power CLI. And we just want to connect. 
the server. Connects, which shows we got a connection. It's quite clear how many clusters we got. Just one. Over the host. So there's the end. So again, just really quickly there, it's taken five minutes, probably maybe a little bit more or less. And you've got yourself a utility VM you can run your power supply from. Now, obviously, from the moment, and from probably from what you saw when we run it. Because of that, you'll notice that the command was power CLI core. So, um, if we run that again, you'll notice it's already got the latest uh, image, so it runs it straight away. Um, you can see that that's it's the core command, so it doesn't include. The uh, vCloud directory and things like that, and obviously NSX Paris and NSX doesn't yet work with this, but it certainly gives you a good uh, starting place. And um, the last bit of kind of Docker config we can do there, we can confirm that tells you what's running. There's no processes running. You can see there's a Docker image there, still running. You can do a command to Docker. It's hard to force it to remove that image. So it's deleted the image now. And if we wanted to run that again it would go away and get the latest check it's got the latest uh, image. And that's it for this video.